Welcome back to our channel Aglasim Schools. Today we will be covering chapter 8 that is comparing quantities. So starting with the first question of our second exercise that is 8.2. Our first question says a man got 10% increase in his salary. If his new salary is 1,54,000 find his original salary so first of all we have to take original salary that is 100 so therefore the new salary that is 10 percent increase 100 plus 10 that is rupees 110 so new salary is 110 then original salary will be rupees 100 if new salary is rupees 1 then original salary will be 100 upon 110 therefore the original salary is 1,54,000 that is given to us then the original salary will be 100 into 1,54,000 divided by 110 which will give you 1,40,000. So the original salary is 1,40,000. Moving to our second question which says on Sunday 845 people went to the zoo. On Monday only 169 people went. What is the percent decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday? So answer is on Sunday people went to zoo 845 which is given to us on Monday people went to zoo were 169 so the number of decrease in the people that is 845 minus 169 we will get 676 therefore decrease percentage we can find it as 676 divided by 845 into 100 we will get 80 percent so the decrease in the people visiting zoo is 80 percent Moving to a third question which says a shopkeeper buys 80 articles for Rs. 2400 and sells them for the profit of 16%. We have to find the selling price of the one article. So the number of articles we can write that is given to us that is 80. The cost price of article is also given to us that is 2400 and the profit which a shopkeeper had was 16% so the cost price of our article is rupees 100 then selling price will be 100 plus 16 that is 116 similarly if cost price of one article is rupees 1 and selling price will be 116 divided by 100 so similarly we have to do cost price of article 2400 then the selling price will be 116 divided by 100 into 2400 that will give you 2784 so the selling price of 40 articles is 2784 and the selling price of one article is 2784 divided by 80 will give you 34.80 pesa. Moving to a fourth question which says the cost of article was rupees 15,450 was spent on its repair. If it is sold for the profit of 15% we have to find the selling price of the article. So how we can find it? First of all Cost price is given to us that is 15,500 and the repairing cost is given to us that is 450. So total cost price we can find it by adding cost price and repairing cost. We will get 15,950 rupees. So now we have to let the CP be 100. Then selling price will be 100 plus 15 that is 115. If cost price is 100 then selling price will be 115. If cost price is 1 then selling price will be 115 divided by 100. If cost price is 15950 then selling price will be 115 divided by 100 into 15950 which will give you 18,342.50 paisa. Moving to our fifth question which says a VCR and the TV was bought for rupees 8000 each. The shopkeeper made a loss of 4% on the VCR and the profit of 8% on TV. We have to find the gain or loss percent on the whole transaction. So cost price of VCR is 8000 which is given to us and the cost of TV is 8000 which is also given to us. So the total cost price by adding 8000 and 8000 we will get 16000. Now VCR is sold at 4% loss. Let Cost price of each article be rupees 100 then selling price will be 100 minus 4 that is 96 rupees. Similarly if CP that is cost price of rupees 1 will be 96 upon 100 and cost price of 8000 will be 96 upon 100 into 8000 which will get 7680 rupees. Similarly with TV we will get 8640 rupees. Moving further. Then total selling price will be 7680 plus 8640 that is TV plus 
VCR. We will get 16320. Since selling price is greater than cost price, so profit is that is selling price minus cost price, we will get 16320 minus 16000, which will be 320 rupees. So, and the profit percentage will be profit upon CP into 100. We will get 320 divided by 16,000 into 100. That is 2%. Moving to our sixth question which says, During a sale, a shop offered a discount of Rs. 10% on the marked price of all the items. What would a customer have to pay for a pair of jeans marked at Rs. 1450? That is 1450. And two shirts marked at Rs. 850 each. So the answer is rate of discount on all the items is 10%. Market price of pair of jeans is 1450 that is 1450 and the t-shirt is 850. So the discount on pair of jeans is rate into MP that is market price divided by 100. So by putting the value we will get 145. So the selling price of pair of jeans is 1450 minus 145 that is 1305. So the market price of t-shirt will be 2 into 850 that is 1700. So the discount on these two t-shirts will be rate into market price divided by 100 that will give you 170. So the selling price of two t-shirts will be 1700 minus 170 will give you 1530 rupees. So the customer had to pay that is 28305. Moving to our 8th question which says the price of the TV is Rs. 13,000. The sale tax charge on it is at rupees at rate of 12%. We have to find the amount that Vinod will have to pay if he buys it. So the selling price is 13,000. Sale tax is 12%. Let CP be Rs. 100. Selling price will be 100 plus 12 that is 112. Cost price is 100 and selling price will be 112. If cost price is 1, the selling price will be 112 divided by 100. Similarly, if cost price is 13,000, we will have to multiply and we will get 14,560. Moving to a ninth question which says, Arun bought a pair of skates at the sale where the discount was 20%. If the amount he pays is rupees 1600, find the market price. So the selling price is 1600 which is given to us. Rate of discount is also given to us that is 20%. So market price we have to let it that is 100. So the selling price will be 100 minus 20 which will give you 80 rupees. So selling price is rupees 80 and the market price is rupees 100. Solving further when selling price is rupees 1 then market price will be 100 divided by 80. When selling price is rupees 1600 then market price will be multiplied that is 2000. Moving to a 10th in the last question which says I purchased a hair dryer for Rs. 5400 including 8% VAT. Find the price before VAT was added. So CP that is cost price is Rs. 5400 which is given to us and the VAT is 8%. So we have to let the CP that is without tax is Rs. 100 then price including VAT is 100 plus 8 that is 108. When price included is Rs. 108, then original price will be 100. Similarly, if Rs. 1 it is, then original price will be 100 upon 108. When price including VAT is 5400, the original price will be 100 divided by 108 into 5400. That will give you 5000. So guys, this is all from this exercise. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question, Please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Agla Sim Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself. Uh, uh, uh.